In part A, we need to figure out the minimum time that is needed before this jet plane can come to rest. Now, this phrase, you'll often see this in physics questions, they'll say that the object comes to rest, and when they say that, they're basically just telling us that the final velocity is equal to zero meters per second. But of course, we have some more information. They do mention that the acceleration rate is negative five meters per second squared, so we can write down that A is equal to that value. And then we know that the initial velocity of the jet plane is 100 meters per second. So we can write down that value as well using V naught as the symbol for initial velocity. And again, we need the amount of time that is required based on these motion parameters. So we're just gonna say that T right now is equal to a question mark. So what you would then do after listing your known values is look at the three major equations from one dimensional motion and you wanna pick the one that involves the four parameters listed on the right side here. And of course, it would be this equation right here. So let's write that down. And then since we're trying to solve that for time, we might want to algebraically rearrange the equation. So we could do that first by subtracting the initial velocity from both sides. We now have V minus V naught is equal to AT. And then to finish solving for time, we will divide both sides of the equation by the acceleration A. And now we have time isolated. And at this stage, we're just gonna plug in our known values. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the values have been plugged in. And when you simplify this, you will see that the time is equal to 20.0 seconds. And so this will be the correct answer to part A of the question. Let's go back up and check out what they want in part B. They ask, can this plane land on a small tropical island airport where the runway is 0.8 kilometers long? 0.8 kilometers. So if the runway is 0.8 kilometers, this will mean that our displacement, as the airplane comes to a rest, is 0.8 kilometers. But of course, we need to convert that into a standard unit of meters. So we'll do a little conversion here. Perhaps we all know that one kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. And if we multiply by that conversion factor, then the kilometers in the numerator, the kilometers in the denominator will cancel out, leaving us with meters. So of course we can see that the displacement will be 800 meters. Okay, now this is a value that we're gonna to wanna to consider. So put a little box around it. It's not the answer to the question yet. So let's keep on going. And to do that, we might consider this equation your textbook might not have it listed as one of the main three, but it's a very useful one for one dimensional motion. And it tells us that the displacement is basically equal to the average velocity multiplied by the time. Now the average velocity can be expanded. We would say that the average velocity would be the final velocity plus the initial velocity divided by two. You can put that in parentheses perhaps, and then multiply by the time. We would then take the values that we've already listed earlier in the problem. So once again, the final velocity V is just zero meters per second. The initial velocity was 100 meters per second. We'll divide that by two, and then we'll multiply by the time that we calculated earlier required for the jet plane to stop, and that was that 20.0 seconds. Now, if you work this out, you're going to get 1,000 meters for the displacement of the jet plane. Now, consider, or compare, the 1,000 meters required to stop, let's just make sure that we mention that. This is required to stop the jet plane. And then compare that to the length of the runway, which unfortunately was only the 800 meters. So that's a bit of a problem. If this jet plane is going to stop, it's gonna take 1,000 meters. The runway is only 800 meters. So to answer their question in part B, which was, can this plane land on a small tropical island with a runway of only 0.8 kilometers? The answer is no. Unfortunately, it's not going to land safely. What a tragedy. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it. Of course, don't feel obligated. I appreciate you taking the time to watch regardless.